zero calories. And that's actually very relevant to uh, today's topic of conversation is calories. The number one secret, the number one key, the number one tool, whatever clickbait title I use to attract your attention to losing weight and keeping it off is what you need to know to lose weight. You need to know your TDEE. Go to an online calculator for your TDEE, get your estimate of what it is, and subtract a percentage of that based on how much weight you want to lose how fast. Remember that a pound of fat is about 3,500 calories. So to lose a pound a week, you'd have to, you'd have to consume 3,500 calories less each week. But back to the point about uh, the 350 pound man who doesn't have a thyroid issue, he's just fat. His TDEE is probably gonna be about 5,000 calories just to maintain that huge body, right? He can eat 50% less and still be taking in 2,500 calories a day. If you're eating 2,500 calories a day of low calorie vegetables and lean meats all day, and it's tasty stuff that you like to eat, it's not boring bland food, tasty stuff that you enjoy, and you're just eating low calorie foods that you love, you can stick to that. Okay, that guy that is 350 pounds and he needs 5,000 calories a day to stay the same weight. Subtract 50% of his TDEE and he's eating those low calorie foods that he still enjoys and that tastes good. He's gonna have a good time because he's not gonna hate what he's eating and he's gonna lose weight very fast because he can afford to because he's so damn big, right? Now let's say in another scenario, there's a 350 pound man who has a thyroid issue and his metabolism which basically amounts to what his TDEE is, is about 25% slower than what it should be. Even still, 25% of 5,000, quick maths, that's like 1,250 calories. So that would make him, that would put his TDEE at 3,700 50. Right? I think so. Quick maths off the top of the dome. And uh, so 3,750 calories. Let's subtract 1,000 calories from that, right? So 2,750 calories a day, right? That's still a lot of food. And there's no reason why he can't also eat 2,500 like the other guy who doesn't have a thyroid issue, but he's the same weight as him. He will still lose weight, all right? He will still lose weight. It'll just be slower because his metabolism is slower and he can't be in as great as a calorie deficit as the normal guy who doesn't have a thyroid issue. But regardless of what issues you have, the way you lose weight doesn't change. You still need to take in less calories than you need to maintain your current weight. You still need to be in a calorie deficit over a long period of time, weeks, months, maybe even a year plus for some people. It just depends on how big you are. I weighed in at 365 pounds at age 13. Pretty big for a middle schooler. And I was really scared. I'm pretty sure I was pre-diabetic and I had like sleep apnea, like I would just feel heaviness in my chest. I couldn't lay on my back or else I would wake up not able to breathe and I have to roll over like Ugh! as a 13 year old. So I know what it's like to be big like that. But I also know that I've lost nearly 200 pounds and I've kept it off for almost five years. And I know that I'm never going to go back to that point in my life. And the reason why is simple. I used basic scientific information that is true and that works and it's free. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to pay to know that you need to watch how many calories you eat. And I just simply stuck to it. It's a matter of sticking to it. 
it'll be hard at first. You'll want to give up. You'll want to quit. But if you stick to it, the rewards are endless. You'll feel infinitely better. Trust me. Infinitely better <coughs> than you do right now. Because right now, you feel like a prisoner in your own body. And that's unacceptable. That's no way to live. And I simply refuse to be a prisoner in my own body. And I've got like, you know, I've got the skin. It's cool, I guess. It's cool. You know, it's a fun thing to show off at parties. It's a cool icebreaker, like, yo, look at the freaking... <laughs> I'm also double jointed too, so it's like, it's like, yo, how can I get that? That's gonna be a thumbnail. Watch that. Get that thumbnail pic. Come on, where's the thumbnail? Where's the thumbnail? Take my shirt off for the thumbnail. <laughs> this is gonna be in the video too. Is that thumbnail worthy? I don't know. Anyway, enough flexing on you. I love to flex on you. I had to flex on you. You know I had to flex on you. My takeaway message is don't fall for the bullshit. Don't buy anything you don't need. Eat less, move more, know your TDEE, -E, and stick with it. Don't give up. This is RJ from Ravioli Fitness. Like and subscribe, because I'm awesome, and I hope you have a good day.